I am so happy to have you here with us tonight. And we are cooking the Tupperware and Champions. And we've got all kinds of really cool products. When's the last time you saw Tupperware? Isn't it amazing? Look at these colors. And oh my goodness, look, Tupperware with butterflies and seashells and all kinds of cool stuff on it. And you know what? Tonight, you're going to have an opportunity to see what our hostesses can get in on and what you can get a really good price on and what's on sale. And you're going to get to see products in action and you're going to have a really good time. We promise you. And you're going to win stuff. So right now, for the very first time, we're going to give you a chance to win something. And so if you're on our Zoom or if you're watching us live, we're looking for the very first person who can tell us how old is Tupperware. We're having a birthday this month. So if you're a guest, you have to be a guest to give us an answer. How old is Tupperware? We want to know how old do you think Tupperware is? We're not very young. Okay. Not me, <laughs> Tupperware. And so go ahead and put those guests in there. We're going to find our winner and somebody's going to get some pan swag or some Tupper swag. <laughs> oh, you can't tell it out loud. You have to put it in the, in the post. You have to put it in the chat, all right? And so we're going to turn it over right now. I can't find a chat. <laughs> That's too bad. It has to go in the chat. You have to click on the chat or put it in the best in the, in the, uh, on the live feed. Okay, that's the only place we can take the answer. All right, and so we would like for you all to give 100% of your attention right now to our first chef. Uh, she is a three-star director. Her name is Amy Gardner. She has got lots of success. She drives a beautiful company car, and we're so proud of her and her success. She has three little people at home and a wonderful, loving, supportive husband. He ought to be with the money this girl's making, but you know what? She is just as great and down to earth and normal girl, just like you and I. And that's what Tupperware is made of. It's a lot of people just like us. And if you're looking at us over tonight, we want you to know that we'd love to have you on our team. Uh, it's a really fun company of friends and friends helping friends with new ideas in your kitchen, fun recipes, and great ways to save yourself money in the, in the kitchen with uh, keeping your produce fresher longer, keeping your food fresher longer, and uh, great ways to eat at home and without getting bored in the kitchen, right? And so let's turn it over to Amy Gardner. Awesome, thanks Pam. So another thing I always like to say is quick and easy too. I love quick and easy recipes. Like Pam said, I have three kids and so I need quick and easy in my life. And one of the things that makes um, life quick or um, great is this, it's a stack cooker I'm gonna show you tonight. Um, how to make a really easy recipe and everybody loves it. So that's another plus. Now my kids are 12, 11, and five. So um, it can be hard, you know, sometimes to get a recipe that they all like. So, but um, the stack cooker is one of my most favorite things. And I actually, I've had it since I started eight years ago and I got it because I had a recipe for meatloaf that took an hour and a half in the oven. And so um, my girlfriend or, um, well, someone told me that I could get the stack cooker and do it in just 15 minutes in the microwave versus an hour and a half in the oven. And I was like, uh, yes, please. So I got it and let me tell you, it came out delicious, just like the recipe I'm gonna show you tonight. So I am actually using um, some brown rice. All right, this is a three stack cooker because I'm gonna stack cook in here, right? So I have brown rice that I already rinsed and um, I just put in our clearly elegant bowl. And so that's about two cups and I need to use my spatula. So it's a good thing we have a really nice spatula. Um, that um, can you can use on things that are maybe a little bit harder. And so it's not going to snap in those harder things because it got it got the little hard, the rice did, which is fine. <laughs> there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. So um, I um, did just realize I forgot to grab my cup, my measuring cup, because so I need two cups of water. So, but you know what? That's okay because I have, Right next to me, my cups, my measuring cups. And so I'm just gonna grab two cups of water really quick. Um, what's great about our measuring cups is that they have pour spouts, like little pour spouts on the side of them, all right? And you're not gonna get this ugly green color. You're gonna get a really 
pretty red color. So, but I have two cups of water in there and I like to add a little bit to the rice and um, so to make it a little bit um, tastier than just regular rice, right? So I actually have a line and I'm gonna cut it in half really quick. And let's see if you can see what I'm doing here. Let's put this down just a little bit. All right, so I have our knife. This is our utility knife. Love our knives. Um, they are nice and sharp and they have the nice um, sheath on them. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, it's a cover, right? And so you use that cover and um, you don't have to worry about little hands going into your drawers and grabbing. Now we're just gonna put a little bit of juice right inside. You see that? I'm not gonna put the whole lime in there, but about a half of a lime. All right, and then we're gonna save that lime and I'm gonna use it um, on top of the chicken. Give that a little bit of extra, a little extra taste down there. So anyway, um, the knife is really nice because you don't also, when you are washing it, the handle floats up. And so then you don't have to worry about, um, about little, like about putting your hand in the dish water and accidentally, um, stabbing yourself because that's not any fun because our knives are super sharp so you gotta be really careful so we also have um so this is the big quart this is the three quart that i use on the bottom so this one in the middle this is the middle piece and this is one and three quarts this is where we're going to put the beans and the chicken and so i'm just going to show you our can opener is amazing and it's so fun because i learned how to do something fun with it all right so you put it on the top just like that all right, you gotta make sure it goes on top and then you just turn it till it clicks. And did you hear that? So that means that it is good. All right, so you have to rinse these beans. Just pull that off. Now I use the little beaks. You put this, this these little beaks right on the top of the can and then just pulls right off, which is amazing. And to rinse them, Okay, so I want you guys to tell us in the chat, how, what is your oldest piece of Tupperware? And um, did you happen to steal it from your mom? Because I stole this from my mom and I've had this. This isn't actually the oldest piece, but it's my oldest piece. So I have had this since I moved out of my house. And when I moved out, I thought um, to myself, my mom does not need this tiny little um, strainer. She has a big one. What does she need a little strainer for? So I took it and I didn't tell her. I just kind of took it. So, <laughs> but she obviously, she found out because she saw me using it. She's like, Hey, I like your strainer. And I'm like, Hey, thanks. I got it from you. <laughs> but anyway, I found out, um, that you do need the big strainer and the little strainer. So, um, I was wrong about that. So um, it's a good thing that Tupperware, we have a big one and a little one that you can get. All right, so we have our beans and they're gonna just go in the center. And then I have chicken breasts and we're gonna put, I cut them up into strips and I use our shears. So if you don't have our shears, let me just tell you, they are amazing. And so, um, and so are these fun tongs. Um, and we're just gonna put the strips, the chicken strips all around the, the beans and in um we're not going to put them on top of each other though okay so you're just going to go one layer all the way around and then you're going to take the lid now if you don't need to do a whole bunch of chicken you could actually put on the top here um and make a little dessert or you could do corn. So tomorrow, I this is a meal that I am going to have prepped and ready. And then tomorrow night, um, I have dinner ready. So Wednesday nights are crazy busy for us uh, because my boys have dance. And my, um, my older son actually has baseball right after dance. So to have a meal ready to go is good. But you could put in here, um, if you wanted to, you could put in here uh, some... Uh, a dessert like a uh, like an apple crisp or something like that. Super yummy and super easy. So I'm just going to set this stuff aside, and then this is going to go in the microwave, um, and you're going to let it cook for eight to ten minutes, and then on on high. All right, and then when it comes out, 
you're going to have a perfectly yummy meal. Now, I only did one layer in on this one just so I could show you all. But look at the beans and the chicken. And the chicken is so yummy and so tender. It's um, It kind of just like falls apart. So you can just use your fork to um, or pull it apart. Look at how easy that pulls apart. It's so tender. And so that I put mine in for eight minutes because my my power on mine is higher than um, a lot of microwaves. And the rice, can you see that? Came out perfectly. I actually put a little bit of cilantro in there too. Um, and so you could always do that. And that's a lime cilantro rice, which is delicious. And then you can either serve it all, um, all separate because like my kids, they want them separate, right? Or you can put it all together and have a nice big chicken burrito bowl. And if you want to, you could add some sour cream and some cheese on top. So super easy and quick, and it's all done in like 10 minutes. All right. Hey, wasn't that looking delicious, guys? I have to tell you, I've made that myself and it's really good. I love our stack cooker and our stack cooker is on sale. So if you have ever wanted a stack cooker, now's the time to get your stack cooker. You can use it to make cakes. You can steam broccoli. You can make frosted cauliflower. It's really good to make a stack meal, a three course meal all at the same time, or it's good to use individual casserole dishes all the time. It is a product that you can use it to mix in it, make it, take it, stave in it, stack in it. Uh, it's just perfect for so many things. It's really good for a lot of chili reheating yet it's really practical for just steaming food too. So you're really gonna love it. It's very practical for making your red meats and getting all that grease and oak off of your red meats while you're browning your red meats for your chili and your spaghetti and your tacos and your lasagna. Yet it's still really, really good when you're wanting to make that stack like you just saw her make. All right, so you saw how we make a really yummy uh, uh, little flair of a, a fun Mexican Spanish food there. How about, let's get a margarita going. <laughs> I know I love a margarita, a good margarita. And you know what? A homemade margarita is always the best, right? Well, in just a minute, we're going to go to that. But first, I want to ask you a question and see who has to answer. Another little piece of trivia. Do you know that Tupperware now, you all know, is Tupperware 75 years old? Well, guess what? When Tupperware started out, we had a really phenomenal woman. Her name was Brownie Wise. You'll know her name because she was a wise woman, knew where to store brownies. Well, I will tell you, one of the most remarkable things about Brownie Wise is she was the very first woman on the cover of a very famous magazine at the time. No, don't say that, Jim. Oh, okay? oh. <laughs> oh, did they hear it, Jim? I don't uh, think so. Okay. This is for guests, right? Is this it for is guests? for guests only. Oh. Okay. Um, oh my goodness. My I husband, were, I, I know, he's trying to help me. I he always likes to but... finish my sentences. No. Do you have a husband like that? No. All right. <laughs> well, let me just ask you something. I um, want to tell you, this woman was amazing. And um, actually, one of the most amazing parts of uh, her life was the fact that she really took Tupperware to a new level in her career with us. And Brownie Wise actually was on the cover of a very famous magazine at the time, and it was a business magazine. And it was the very first time a woman was ever on the front cover of the magazine. And if you can tell me the name of that magazine, it all has to be typed in. There's no way for us to be able to tell who is saying a voice, okay? So it can't be any voices, and it all glares. So it only can be typed in the messenger, okay? We got a winner. Okay, we already have a winner. Congratulations. So please understand, there's no way we could ever, we can't tell who's the voice, who it is. There's just no way to do that. It has to be typed in and then we can clearly tell and it's a fair way to win, all right? Uh, we appreciate you guys understanding that. It's just uh, absolutely no way to figure it out, all right? All right, and so now we're ready to turn it over to Ebony and she's gonna teach us how to make a margarita. Mm -hmm. So I just want to just talk a little bit real quick, um, just to say how great Tupperware has been to me. I've made a lot of friends and new family through it, and I appreciate the opportunity tonight to demo. I'm going to make a margarita, something that I use um, when I get off of work to wind down, and after the kids go to bed to settle down, I drink these probably once or twice, three, four, five times a week. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so basically how you do it is we're gonna use our power chef. 
I'm trying to make my laptop show more. Okay. Our Power Chef um, product is basically can be used as a chopper or it can be used as um, like a whipper for uh, frostings or creams. So tonight I'm going to make the margarita in it. So it's a really simple product. So what I'm going to do is put my ice in it first. Because I like my margaritas frozen and you can always have them on the rocks, but I like mine frozen. And I'm using our scooper. I use four cups of these because I can't find my one cup because the kids had cooked brownies last night and I can't tell you where they are. Then I have my frozen berries in my Tupperware bowl. Now this pour, this is uh, one cup of berries. Um, and I pour my margarita mix in it. You can get, they also have these you can make for the kids, a uh, margarita mix uh, without alcohol. For people that don't like to drink, but like frozen mixes, they can also get the um, non-alcohol margarita mix too, which is pretty cool for the kids because they might wanna have a frozen drink in the summertime. So it'll be a good idea with that. And then what we do is just put the top back on it. We pull our string. And then we have our margarita. And I wanna actually add a little bit more ice to this to make it more slushier, like I like it. That's why I like it so much. And the blade is so sharp. So it cut up those berries, the ice. And then a lot of people like sugar around the rim or salt. So if you wanted sugar around the rim or salt, basically what you would do is I would just have a line. You'll cut your line up. Let me cut it on my cutting board before I cut my table up. And this is one of our Tupperware knives. And I use it quite often. And now what I'm gonna do is put the line around the top of the cup. And then dig it inside my sugar and I'll have sugar around the rim for my margarita. And then I'll drink. That's all we have folks tonight. Thank you. All right, thank you, Ebony. That was awesome. You did so good. And she was nervous. Everybody give Ebony some stars and hearts. That was awesome. If you're on Facebook, give her stars and hearts right now. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, good. Now that was fun. Now that you all have your margaritas made, I'm sure you were watching her and saying, hey, I got that stuff in my house. Let me whip it up, right? <laughs> all right, everybody's got ice, right? Everybody's got strawberries? Well, okay, maybe not everybody. You had blueberries, right? <laughs> Blueberry margarita. All right, um, you know what? So fun. And I love how our power chef does that so nicely. You can use that to make homemade salsa. You can use that to chop up your nuts if you're making a recipe that calls for chopped nuts. It's easy to go ahead and chop onions. I like to use it if I'm making a roast for my carrots and my celery and my onions and chop it all up. It's so simple and it's so much faster if you're making soups. Oh my goodness, it's like a workhorse in the kitchen. Love that little guy. 
All right. And so next we're going to move over to, uh, who did you tell me was next? Angela. Angela Robaugh. In just a minute, we're going to Angela. Now she is farm to field. And you know what? Kitchen to field, table to field. What? Farm to table. <laughs> farm to table. And we love our Angela. Now, what's so fun about her is she does have a lot of really fresh ideas. Uh, she loves a lot, uses a lot of, um, of mushrooms that she actually was able to find in the woods. I know it's crazy, right? But she loves a lot of really down to earth recipes, wholesome foods. And so if you're into that kind of stuff, you're gonna love that. And if you love to save money like that, then you'd probably love to get free stuff too. And so I wanna share with you that all of our hosts are able to get this little water bottle free for dating a Tupperware party. Is this not so cute? I love this. And this has got our new host, our birthday design on it. And these are available. Uh, this is the dating gift. And these, you get four of these as the thank you gift right now. And there's more. When you have your Tupperware party, you're able to get some more things as bonuses this month because it's our birthday. And when we have a birthday, you get gifts. Isn't that the coolest? And so once you hear from Angela, we're going to come back. But right now we have one more trivia question. Are you ready? All right. So Earl Tupper was the man who actually designed Tupperware. And he was so proud of his design. And he named his uh, the very first line that he came out with. He had a special name for it. And so it was a very special name. And it's still on the very bottom of some of the oldest, oldest products that you'll find. And if you have anything in your home with this, it's really quite a, a, a collector's item, all right? And so what's on the bottom of his very first line that he was so proud of that's no longer hasn't been seen for years? Way back, what's on the bottom of some of the very first original product line? And so I know it's a little bit of a tough trivia question, but maybe somebody will get it. You have to be a guest to win. We love to give away presents. And so we'll be sending out free Tupperware gifts. And so to all of our guests who win, uh, a little swag, a little bit of free gifts, all right? And so go ahead and put your guesses in there if you know what it is. And let's turn it over to Angela. She is a star director with us here at Champion Enterprises, has three children. We love our Angela. Take it away, Angela. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here with you tonight. Um, yes, I am very field and farm to table with Tupperware. Um, I grew up on a farm and I have been doing Tupperware for about 11 years and I love being able to share my lifestyle um, through Tupperware and some of the fun things that we get to do <clears throat> in the outdoors and we bring home to our family. I get to share that with other people online through Tupperware and it's awesome. I love it. So um, Tonight, what I'm going to do is I am making something super simple because we all like simple. We all like easy, but I get to show you all of my cool kitchen tools that I use making something fast and easy and simple. So in honor of Cinco de Mayo, we're going to make a taco bake and um, I have our beautiful Ultra Pro here and this is our bakeware. Yes, Tupperware goes in the oven. Um, this is one of my absolute favorite lines. This is our 13 by nine. It's super lightweight. Um, it's nonstick. So when you bake a cake or you make anything like that, you don't even have to grease the bottom of it. Um, it just comes right out of there really nice and easy with your spatula, um, your silicone spatula. You don't want to cut um, with a knife inside of here because of that nonstick. You don't want to goof that up. Um, but we do have beautiful spatulas that you can have to go ahead and cut your piece of cake and get it out of there um, nice and easy. And it cleans up super nice. Um, you, this also does go in the microwave, so you can jumpstart your cooking. Um, it's called tandem cooking. It's very interesting. You should look it up and check that, check into that because um, this product here does allow you to do that. Um, you can be baking a chicken and go ahead and get or to shorten the length of time, the cooking time by throwing it in the microwave for a little bit and then go ahead and finish that off in the oven. So you'll have to look up tandem cooking, it's lots of fun. So, um, and the other cool feature about our Ultra Pro is just the top that goes and rests on the top here like this. You can flip it over and put it on top and you can cook two things at one time in the oven. 
or you can just use the top. I know if I'm pulling some chicken nuggets out or a couple of French fries or a chicken patty for one of the girls, if I'm making something fun for dinner that they're like, ew, I don't like it. Um, I can just pull something out real quick and pop it on here like a cookie sheet and throw that into the oven. Um, so it's really nice that there's so many different features to it and so many different uses. Um, with it being very um, lightweight, it's nice because you can store it in your cupboard. They all stack down inside of each other and you can pull the whole thing out like nothing. You don't have to worry about pulling that glassware down out of there, your Pyrex and things like that. You pull it out of the cupboard and you're like, oh, please don't fall on me, <laughs> right? This stuff is super lightweight and easy. Um, and it's backed up by that Tupperware name. So you don't have to worry about it shattering on the counter uh, when you pull it out of the oven or ever chipping, cracking, peeling, or breaking because it's covered by that Tupperware warranty too. Um, so with the recipe, what we do is um, I have crescent rolls and I already pre-baked it. You just spread out the crescent rolls and you put it on the bottom of your 13 by nine and then you bake it in the oven. Now, then you make your taco meat, which I made in our beautiful cookware. Um, yeah, we're down to just a little bit in there because the kids were eating it on chips tonight. <laughs> so, um, but you can use anything. You could use ground chicken, you could use ground turkey, ground beef, um, pork, whatever um, your flavor is. This happens to be ground elk. Um, it's absolutely delicious and super nutritious for you. So if you have a local butcher that is, you're able to go and get um, ground venison, um, ground bison, other things like that, go ahead and give it a try. This is a perfect way to try those different meats because it is spiced up a little bit and it's not very gamey. This elk is not very gamey to begin with. This is absolutely delicious meat. Um, and we use this for everything. So, um, we're just going to go ahead and put that ground meat down on the bottom there. And this right here, if you're looking at this cookware and you're looking at the ultra pro and thinking, wow, that's so beautiful. I would love to have it. You absolutely do want to have it. And the coolest thing about being a hostess is with, um, a thousand dollar party, which I know you guys are all shooting for a thousand dollar party because at a thousand dollars, you get to pick three half price items in the catalog. That means you can go ahead and get that micro pro grill. You've been looking at, you can get a piece of our ultra pro and you can grab a piece of cookware too, all at half price. What department store has a half price coupon, right? <laughs> we do. <laughs> so that's one really fun thing. Um, for our hostesses all the time, not just in our special birthday month right now. So we just put that down there. And then um, of course you can put on your shredded cheese. We have shredded lettuce and we're just gonna go ahead and layer this up. We have in our um, refrigerator system, we have tomatoes. So you can chop up your tomatoes and sprinkle that on top. You can do your sour cream. Um, real quick, I'm going to show you, I, um, fresh is always best. We love uh, our fresh ground meat, our fresh elk, um, fresh mushrooms. Pam was just talking about, we were out morale hunting, morale mushroom hunting this past weekend. And, uh, that's one of my favorite things. It's from the forest floor and absolutely delicious. Anything that you eat that is the closest to earth form is the healthiest and best for you to eat. Just remember that. So fresh is always best. Um, so uh, we have our amazing um, master shredder system here. And um, it has one cone that has the real small little holes for the small shredded cheese. And then I have the bigger cone inside of here um, for the bigger, excuse me, for the bigger pieces like this. This is an absolute amazing system to have in your kitchen. It goes together really super fast and easy, and it all comes apart for easy cleaning, and it's dishwasher safe. What? Dishwasher safe, right? That's a biggie. <laughs> all right, so this just goes on the counter like this, and you twist, put the top on there, and you twist, and it locks on your counter, so it's not, not going to go anywhere as you're using the product, okay? My kids are absolutely in love with this thing and love using this all the time. 
This is our beautiful, uh, clearly elegant. So you want to check out our beautiful, clearly elegant line um, as you're shopping as well. That's very classy for the summer. So all you do is you just turn this handle and look at that beautiful shredded cheese. Look how gorgeous. So we're going to shred our fresh cheese and we're going to go ahead and put that right on top. We're going to put our lettuce on there and we're going to put our little bit of cheese and I'm only going to do half of it because I'm kind of skimping on the meat because everybody eats some, but look how beautiful that is. And then we're going to go ahead and put sour cream and the tomatoes on there and you can cut this um, in little pieces like a pie and uh, serve it to everyone. So believe it or not, whipping up some um, taco meat really super fast and throwing this in the oven. It doesn't take very long. Um, it, dinner can be done in 15, 20 minutes. Um, so that's really, really neat. And, um, you know, we use all of our systems in our kitchen. You'll see as each demonstrator uses things, you know, we have our um, refrigerator system that keeps our, keeps our fruits and vegetables fresher longer. We have our freezer system. Um, our freezer mates are absolutely amazing. And look, guys, look how easy it is to take those seals on and off. And I actually use them for um, storing my cheese, my already shredded cheese in there in the refrigerator as well. And our modular mate system. So if you're having a taco night and you need to pull out that big old thing of Tostito scoops, you know that they're going to be fresh because um, they're always going to stay fresh in your Tupperware modular mates too. So I hope you guys have a good evening. Thanks. Back to you, Pam. All right. Thank you so much. You know what, Angela, that was excellent. Uh, as always, you always do a phenomenal job. So I figured you guys probably wanted to know about that answer. Well, nobody came up with the right answer, but I wanted to tell you that I I'm gonna give it to somebody because she did say seal first and it's close, all right? The answer is millionaire line, but it was a picture of a seal with the millionaire line written on it. And he was so proud when Tupperware sold their first million dollars that he created a millionaire line. And that was one of the first named lines that he created. And so remember Tupperware when it was first brought out, it was all this color. <laughs> Everything was pastels and white. And so it was really quite different today, isn't it? And you know what? Our cake taker today is, is different than this one as well. This is actually one of our heirlooms uh, brought out for us out of the vault for a short time. And you can get this right now in our birthday month. It's one of our cake takers with the handle that actually comes off. And the reason people like this one is because when you take this handle off, it is a different color that you get tonight. When you take this handle off, you can actually use this upside down or right side up. And so this can be a great big bowl, a flat bowl that won't tip easy. And you can use this as a cover or you can use it as the base cake taker and you can use this as the cover. So either way it can be used. And remember this handle, when you put it on, you walk your hand all the way around and put the handle on, you put it on both sides. And once you put it on, it is locked into place because that handle is gonna keep that seal on there. So even if you have somebody helping you carry it, that's not being careful, that handle is actually helping it stay on. Because you know how sometimes you have helpers that aren't careful, right? Another piece of product that is out of the vault for a very short time, and it's not this color, but it is still very pretty, is the Fix and Mix Bowl. Now the Fix and Mix Bowl, your grandmother had it, it might've been white, um, or it might've been school bus yellow, I used to call it. This holds 26 cups. This is not the biggest bowl Tupperware's ever made. We have a great big bowl that holds 59 cups now. But this is that big bowl grandma had that you always thought was so big. But what you have to remember is you were little. <laughs> and so it seemed really big. But it, this is an amazing bowl. And I love it because it is actually the same seal that some of our big bowls hold. It's just a lot more shallow. And this is very practical for making double batches of cookies. It's really a useful bowl. And so I've always really enjoyed this bowl for a lot of my favorite recipes. 
and especially uh, double batches of cookies, making my homemade breads, and also making um, you know brownie mixes and stuff like that. Um, it's really good for caramel corn. It's good for making up you know your uh, puppy chow and some of those fun recipes that you love to make. All right, and then the other thing that you guys need to know that's really fun that's available right now is our uh, special packages that we have. Our hamburger press is available right now, along with extra um, hamburger um, uh, containers. These are amazing. And if you, I, I'm sure you know about these, the bottom becomes the seal to the next one. And you can get a um, seal to seal up the last, it comes with a seal actually, to seal up the last one. And the press is super easy. You, um, one of the tricks I'm gonna tell you for the years of using this is you wanna line this with a little bit of mayonnaise. Um, and so that when you're using this over and over and over again, if you're throwing this out on a cookie sheet and so we can flash freeze in a, in a freezer so you can stack them all up, that is going to make it so your hamburger meat's not gonna stick down inside of here. And so if you're making a whole bunch for a cookie sheet and you're gonna flash freeze them in the freezer and then you're gonna stack them all up in a large piece of Tupperware and have them because you're making, you know, 25 or 30, you can do that. Now I have 25 or 30 of these. So when I do it, I'm putting them in here, but that's the trick to keep it from sticking down inside of here. Now, when I do it, I also will share with you, I do it like this and I put, I use my measuring cup and I'll use my measuring cup and, and use the three quarter cup and I'll make exactly three quarter cup in there. And so they all come out exactly the same. So you don't have some thinner and some thicker and you smash and twist at the same time. And you always use this because this keeps it off the sides. And so when you're ready to pop it out of there and it's frozen, it comes out faster and easier. And the other trick you wanna know is if you smash like this and then you take like a fork or a spoon and you put a hole in the center and you just kind of spread the meat apart a little bit, that makes it, and so it doesn't shrink into a ball on the grill because the grill is so hot that a lot of times the outside cooks faster than the inside. And so your meat can sometimes kind of go into a ball and, and that hole makes it so the juice will come out of there and it, the hamburger will stay flatter. So just a little trick that makes it a lot easier. Now, if you like to mix up your hamburger meat and some, some fun mixture before you actually um, make your patties, that's good to do too. And a great way to do that and to keep these things this pretty and this white forever is to go ahead and rinse them in water before you smash your hamburger meat down the side of them because the water uh, keeps them from staining and absorbing any stain uh, when you do put them in the freezer and you have all those red spices or whatever down inside that hamburger meat, it won't absorb the stain if you've rinsed them real quick with water and you've actually used them wet and put them in the freezer like that. You'll never know you did it, but it will keep it from absorbing that, all right? Little tricks of the trade. Oh, here's the extras. I knew they were here. Love these. You want to buy lots and lots of extras so that you can be ready to go. Our marinator, how wonderful. Every woman's face, favorite piece of Tupperware because it's loaded with diamonds, right? <laughs> and it is perfect because when you have this and you have all your meats for the grill, whether it's chicken or the steaks or whatever you want to marinate, when you seal it up, you want to seal it up and you can take it and put it in the refrigerator and you can flip it. And when you flip this little guy, you're going to be able to know that it will not leak on you at all, ever, all right? And so flipping it two or three times a day is going to be perfectly okay. And you know it's never going to leak, whether you're marinating fruits or whether you're marinating uh, meat. And this is going to work for everything. You can do meats and chickens and stuff like that, but it also holds a good mess of cookies <laughs> if it's for the holidays or whatnot. You're still going to be able to put cookies down inside of there. There are so many great things. Now let's turn it over to our friend Nancy Leggins. She is awesome. Internet just went out. She's trying to get back on, so maybe we'll be up first. Okay, so Nancy's internet just went out. Not a problem. We'll give her a little bit of time to get that back up. Um, so let's play our next trivia game and let's see. Oh, our last winner was Helen Smith. Helen Smith, you were the winner. <laughs> okay, because you put uh, the seal down. All right. Did we say who our other winners were? Mm -hmm. Okay. Our, our winner on the uh, business week was Rhonda. Rhonda, you were the winner on the business weekly. And that was the magazine that Brownie Weiss was on. Very yeah, was 75 famous. years. And the 75 years, oh, Rhonda, you won the 75 years. Yeah. And the Business Weekly was? Cynthia. Cynthia, you're the winner on the Business Weekly. Uh, I'm, yes, Business Weekly. All right, and um, we also have 
Uh, Jessica is keeping track of all of our guests because all of our guests that are on tonight are going to be in a drawing for free Tupperware and all of our hosts that are on tonight. So make sure you put in the chat whether you're a guest or a host and sign in tonight right there in the chat so we can know you're here with us. And that's how we can keep track and make sure that you're in the drawing for the host or the guest drawing as well. All right. And so we are going to turn it over to Lydia. And Lydia is going to tell you a little bit about the Tupperware story. She is a Tupperware chef, but tonight she's cooking up her story for you to share with you how she loves this Tupperware business and why. Thank you, Lydia. Star director, Lydia Settler. Hi, everybody. Um, it's good to see everybody tonight. So a little bit about my story and um, what it means for me to be in this business. So. I started my Tupperware journey 38 years ago. There was a big break in the middle, but wow, that's a long, long time ago. So I was in for 10 years. I drove a company car for nine and a half of those years. And then I was out for 19 and a half years. And I have been back in for nine years again now. So, um, and yes, I'm driving a company car again. So thank you, Tupperware. That is an awesome, awesome perk. So, Starting my business um, back then was a huge deal for me because I was raised Amish, so I only have an eighth grade degree or ed education, and um, I was very shy. I have since then outgrown that, okay? <laughs> Not so shy anymore, okay? Um, but I left the Amish and got married. So after a few years, I was kind of getting bored um, I didn't have children or anything, so I was kind of bored, and um, I was offered the opportunity to join Tupperware. So I decided to give it a try, and let me tell you, that was a huge deal. Um, I was scared to death. So but after the initial fears and after I did a party or two, it was like, this isn't bad. I really enjoy this, and I was actually making some money. So... I really doubt that I would have ever left Tupperware, um, but life happened. And it happens to all of us, but in different ways. So a little bit about that. My husband at the time became very verbally abusive. Um, I couldn't do anything right anymore. Everything was my fault. Um, I was put down, made to feel like I was worthless for years. So I finally got the courage to leave. Um, and then had to deal with him stalking me and he threatened my life. I didn't think he would actually kill me until um, he told my sister and her husband exactly how and where he was going to do it. So now I was terrified and I stayed in my apartment for weeks. So that put an end to my Tupperware business at that time. I did not have the support that we have here at Champion back then those many years ago. I was with a different company and it was just not the same, okay? Um, so on the outside looking in, no one realizes what you're going through. Um, there's no, no um, bruises or anything like that. And when there's other people around, it's all um, nice and pleasant and you know everything is great. But the minute you're alone, the, it's like a switch flips and look out. So if you have a friend that's normally cheerful and outgoing in that and all of a sudden becomes quiet, please check on them, okay? Um, so long story short, the law and the courts got involved and um, it took quite a while, but we kind of got, it, got that dealt with. Um, and then um, after that, I got a job at a manufacturing plant and I worked there for 19 years. I was a supervisor on the floor and that was in a man's world. I was like one of, I think, three supervisors out of, I don't know how many, probably 50 or 60. Um, and for those, out of those 13 years, there was only like three of us. So I was salary. I worked a ton of hours without any extra pay and without seeing daylight for months at a time because I would leave for work in the morning when it was dark and I'd get home after, for, from work when it was dark. Um, that does not help your mind either. That is um, 
a very good recipe for depression. Um, but that got very old. So one night I went to a Tupperware party and what a blessing that turned out to be. I met Loretta. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, so I met Loretta. Um, I didn't join again right away. I prayed about it and I realized I realized it was the right. Yeah. I realized it was the right thing for me to do. So I jumped back in. Um, I'm sorry, I told myself I was not gonna do that this time, okay? So um, I jumped back in and this time I joined to replace my salary. I wanted to leave that job. <clears throat> I wanted to leave that job because I needed more time with my family and with myself. So what a ride it's been. Um, I took advantage of every training that I could. There's so much available for you guys. Um, there's even more, I'm so sorry. There's even more available now than when I started, okay? There is so much out there these days that you can take advantage of. And, you know, it is there for the taking. All you need to do is want it and then take action. All right. I have met so many new friends that are now family. I've... I've um, been awarded trips and lots of awards and I've gained so much confidence. That is huge. Okay. So, so I did meet a wonderful man and we've been married for 23 years. And he supports your business, doesn't he? Yes, he does. But life can be bittersweet sometimes. Because <laughs> you see, <sighs> he was diagnosed with cancer four and a half years ago. <sighs> so we have lots of ups and downs, okay? But through it all, with the love and support of my amazing business leaders, Pam and Jim, and my director sisters, and most importantly, our, our amazing God. I could not do this without him. But we get through one day at a time, and we laugh and we smile. So I want to give a huge shout out to my team and my organization for giving their all and never losing our title through all of this. Okay. I love you guys so much. So, no matter what you're faced with, just know that tomorrow's another day. And if you want a bigger family to help you face it all, you're in the right place. There you go. Thank Whether you, you so whether you want to make Tupperware a career or you just want to be a discount shopper, join us. We love right. and support you either way. We're here for you. Okay. And trust me, if I can do this, you can do this. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, Lydia. I think the biggest message you saw there is how uh, Tupperware can work around a schedule. Like I, it can be a crazy schedule. And life happens in everybody's life, but so oftentimes you have to leave a career because what life brings in your world. And um, with Tupperware, we are able, you're able to work around some of the craziest things that happen in life that we're able to work around with you and help you so often with that. Um, and congratulations, Lydia, on your huge success. And guys, she, you know, she might've taken off one cape, but she put on another one and she's quite a superwoman. 
And we're very, very proud of you, Lydia. And your success in life um, really has come way past a degree. And you have, you know, drive a company car and make a huge income uh, be, for you and your family, uh, being able to support and um, doing so much. It's just really a remarkable thing what you've done. And we're proud of you, Lydia Sattler. Amazing. Amazing. Thank All you. Right. All right. And so now we have another chef. And we have another trivia question. And so if you're ready for more free gifts to be given away, we love mailing stuff out. So when you're a winner, you're, whoever invited you here tonight is going to make sure I get your address so we can send you out free stuff because they're probably my friend on Facebook and I take all addresses through Messenger. And so if they're not, it's Pamela Matheny Clift. So either they're, they are or their upline is. And so our next trivia question is, when did Tupperware become available for you to actually order from a catalog without having to be at a party? Was it in 1972 or was it in 1980 or was it in 1988? You can guess, but the first time you guess right, you might win. <laughs> guess, 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 guess. Only guess only, guess only, all right? So throw your guesses in there. And let's turn it over to our director, Nancy Lagan. We love our Nancy Lagan. Best demonstrator ever. You're going to love her. Go, Nancy. Pam, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lydia. You touched my heart, and we love you so much. Um, Tupperware really can change your life. And so if you're sitting out there tonight thinking, well, I'm just watching a few chefs cook, and that's what it's about. No, it's about more. It's about the people. So if you join Tupperware, um, you know, I've been in for 28 years and I actually sold way back in the 70s too for about five years. Um, you can join and quit and come back. You can stay in the whole time. You can do what you want with this business, but the people build you up and support you and it gives you so much self-confidence. So tonight it is Cinco de Mayo. And when I was young, I was never home on Cinco de Mayo night because my husband and I were out drinking margaritas somewhere in some Mexican restaurant as we all should be doing. But today I don't like the long lines. And so I make Cinco de Mayo at home. Um, and so there's all kinds of tacos you can make, regular tacos. There's a Bamba, it's a place downtown and they have tacos like you've never seen before. They have fish tacos and they have pulled pork tacos and they're amazing toppings on them. And so I found a recipe for shrimp top tacos with a lime crema sauce. And so I've never made this, but it just smells delicious here, okay? Because I grilled the shrimp earlier so they'd be all done for you. And you use your Tupperware products. And so the first thing I did was I marinated the shrimp. Um, now, normally you use a pound of shrimp, but my husband's working late at the election board tonight. So it's just me. So I want one taco. So I made five little shrimp and I marinated them um, and not even marinate, just mixed them up with some olive oil, cumin powder, garlic powder, paprika, cayenne pepper, but I don't like that. So guess what? I didn't put it in. So you put in what you like and what you like to eat. A little bit of salt and some lime juice. And what I did is I mixed it up and I put it in our micro pro grill. Now you can put these in an air fryer and cook them for about 13, I think it was like eight minutes. Let me see, it was really quick. Um, yeah, about eight, nine minutes in an air fryer. You can saute them in a pan or use our grill. And all I did was put them in our grill and it has our metal on the top and metal on the bottom. I put the shrimp, I put five little shrimp in there, put the metal bot down and I grilled them for five minutes. And I wanna show you, now these have been cooked for a while, but that's what they look like. They're deliciously grilled shrimp. And so then um, the shrimp are done and I made the lime crema sauce. And so this is, oh God, it's so good. All right. It is made with um, sour cream and a little bit of mayonnaise and a little bit of lime juice and a little bit of salt. Now I already mixed it. So you didn't have to watch me measure all that um, because it's getting a little bit late. So I mixed it all up and this is what you're going to put on top of the shrimp on top of the cabbage. So I have cleaned fresh cabbage and I'm going to make some coleslaw. Now I could chop it, I could grate it, I could put it in many of our products, but I'm gonna put it in the Power Chef with a couple garlic cloves. And I just I washed my cabbage and put it in here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in here to make some coleslaw because you can buy coleslaw, but if you ever opened a bag of coleslaw and then you put it, whether you put it in Fridge Smarts or you don't, how long does it last? Oh God, it gets brown so quick. So you wanna use fresh cabbage and that's what this is, fresh cabbage. Now I put it in here 
in our fridge smart and it'll last like three times longer. So all of your vegetables will last that way. So I put it in here with some cilantro, but you don't see the cilantro because Mark's was out of cilantro. So guess what? I don't have it. I'm not putting it in. Oh, I'll live. Okay. But if you love cilantro, buy it ahead and keep it in. I guess everybody was making stuff with cilantro tonight. Then you just lock this in and you pull the cord. Okay. And you chop up and make your cabbage. It's all made. Okay. Oh, a couple leaves still out. We got to do it a little bit more. And the garlic is all in there. Now I like a little bit of onion. So I'm just going to chop a little bit of onion in there because I like a little bit of onion flavor in everything. And if you don't, whoop, got to have it locked in because if you don't, it won't work. And you pull the cord. Now my onion is chopped in there. So what you do is you take out your slaw. Okay, and you just dump it in a bowl. And of course, everyone I think used our spatula tonight. This is my very first time using this spatula because I was in love with the old spatula. And then I thought I better get the new one for cooking demos. Oh, it's so, so cool because the top never comes off. The silicone part never comes off the handle. So it's absolutely great. So you put your coleslaw in there and you chop it up as fine as you want. Put a little bit of the lime crema sauce in it and you just toss it, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a taco. Now I used, of course, I love Chi Chi's and the margarita mix is from Chi Chi's, okay? Um, because this already has the um, alcohol in it, so it's really good to have. And then I took a flour tortilla, I warmed it in the microwave, of course, on our microwave plates, and you just take a little bit of this coleslaw and you put it down inside here. And then I'm going to take my five little shrimp and I'm going to place them on top and look how they grilled. Is that cool? And you know what you can, and these shrimp, I just buy them and I keep them in the freezer and I, and I just um, thought them out. And then you just take your shell. I don't know if you can see this here. You take your shell and you just whirl it up. Now I like a little extra sauce. So you just put a little extra sauce on top. And then you roll it up and there is your shrimp taco, my margarita, and I'm off to have a really great Cinco de Mayo night. How about you? Have a great night. <laughs> oh my goodness, was this fun tonight, everybody? I hope you enjoyed it so much. I wanna tell you one more time, if you date a Tupperware party with your Tupperware rep in the month of May, you get the water bottle as a dating gift. These or when you have a Tupperware party, you get all four of these for free when you hold your Tupperware party as a thank you gift. And that Tupperware party is over $200. And, uh, $200. Once it's $200, these are free. Then when you have a $500, you can pick whether or not you want this complete set or this complete set, which is like all of this up here all of these bowls, which I really like these bowls. These are really pretty bowls, nice bowl set. And they all completely go down the side of each other and condense. And this is such a pretty color. And these beautiful, this is like a blue purple and this is like a cranberry purple. And you also have, I love this. My, <laughs> I had a friend email me and say, can I get that? And I go, have a party. And then you got, you, you get four of these, by the way. There's only one here, but X comes to four and four of the utensils. And then you also have a choice of getting the, um, the, uh, the barbecue set over here. Now, if you have a thousand dollar party, you could have them all, all three of them. You don't have to make a choice. You can just get them all, all right? And so that's the best way to do it, right? Why pick and choose? But there are so many other things you want to look at. Now, when you have a Tupperware party, your Tupperware guest, are going to be able to choose some really good specials going on. My favorite is this little bit of everything. And you get um, four of these and four of these and four of these and four of these and four of these for $50. You get all of this stuff for $50. That's a really good deal, especially if you are doing, um, you know, if you're uh, meal prepping and stuff like that for lunches, this is really a good way to go instead of making your 100, instead of buying 100 calorie packs, 100 calorie packs, make your own 100 calorie packs. Why not, right? Well, if you're looking tonight and thinking, I want this, I want this, I want this, why not get a discount? If you would like to have a permanent discount, you could do that for $15, all right? We'll give you a permanent discount. And that is uh, just like a buyer's club with us. 
you uh, sign in with us and be part of our company and um, in our buyers club line, or you can join our team. And doing that, you would get a kit and you would get a lot of the product you saw tonight demonstrated in the kit, including the margarita maker. <laughs> we should call it that. I bet we'd sell more, right? <laughs> the, the power chef. Um, and you would get that and you'd also get a lot of other pieces. It's $109 to join that way. And it's over $350 of the product. Now, here's the deal. We always like to give our guests that are with us tonight a little extra push and a little extra bonus. You know, they told me one time, people don't mind being bribed as long as you tell them, I'm going to bribe you, <laughs> all right? I'm going to bribe you. I'm going to give you an extra deal, okay? You want an extra deal? So if you're with us tonight and you join before midnight, we're going to give you an extra deal. An extra deal is, oh, boy, you can have <laughs> a fanny pack. All right. Who doesn't want a fanny pack, right? A fanny pack is pretty popular and it's loaded. It's got a little piece of Tupperware in there. And it has some other things that is going to make it fun and special for you to be brand new in Tupperware and have a few extra things. You know what? Uh, they're all different, so you never know what you're going to get in here. It's like a surprise. Uh, who doesn't like a surprise, right? But there are, oh, this Tupperware. And oh, that's pretty and sparkly. Oh, and that that's cool, too. You might like this, all right? And so you want to get on tonight, and you want to go ahead and find out your Tupperware ladies link and go ahead and join in tonight. And then make sure your Tupperware lady knows you signed in tonight and you go ahead and let she sends me the notes and I send you out Pam swag. It's going to have a fanny pack and surprises inside. All right. All right. And our very first person that signs up tonight before midnight, it's extra special bonus. There's another gift inside there for you. And so you want to do that. It actually doesn't fit inside. But it fits in an envelope, but not in the fanny pack. All right? Go ahead. Sign up. Say yes. Do it fast. All right. Bye, guys. I hope you had a great night. We're going to give away more free stuff right now. So don't leave. What's uh, our guest? Jessica, how many guests do we have on with us tonight? Hi, Pam. We have 25 guests on tonight that checked in. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Alexa, give me a random number between 1 and 25. 24. 24. Let me look through all my numbers. And it's Tina with Terry Rafino. Congratulations. No, with Terry Rafino. Terry Rafino, send me Tina's information. She's a winner. All right, now our host. So, how many hosts do we have on tonight? This is the most yet, Pam. We have 23 on that checked in with me today. <laughs> 23 of us that's amazing and awesome all at the same time all right congratulations all of the hosts they're super excited they went a thousand dollar party i know what you want get it all right all right and so alexa give me a random number between one and 23 your random number between one and 23 is 20 20 all right number 20 let me look through It is Lauren Sayers with Rachel, Rachel Carmen. All right, Lauren Sayers, congratulations. You're the lucky winner of the Tupperware swag. Yay. <laughs> All right, I need that address. So all of the winners, make sure your Tupperware lady sends out your address to me on private messenger on Facebook. I appreciate you guys so much. And we have the winner on Okay, the winners are Rhonda, Cynthia, Helen Smith, and the last one was Kara Leos, I think. Karen, Karen Leos, you're also a winner tonight. You won on the um, 88 was the year, all right? 88, and you were the first one to guess 88 was the first year that you could actually buy Tupperware from a catalog without being at a Tupperware party. I have to tell you, I started Tupperware before 88. And, and it was a no-no. Right? It was like, oh, get in trouble if you let somebody buy Tupperware without being at a party. Isn't that crazy how far we've come? <laughs> All right. Boy, oh boy. All right. That's fun. That's crazy fun. Guess where we're going? We're going for even bigger and better things in Tupperware. And you're going to be part of it. I'm so excited about Tupperware and the company we are today. We are making amazing progress, and I'm so excited. Tupperware Champion Enterprises and the party that you're with tonight, we're number 101 in the world. 
Do you know that Tupperware just recently gave a million dollars to the National Park Foundation to help clean up the national parks? I am so proud of that. We're actually letting them put in water bottle dispensers and donating water bottles to the national parks so that they can fill their water bottles and reuse water bottles instead of having one-time use bottles. But we also have started a recycling system for the one-time use bottles. And so now those bottles that were thought to be garbage forever and to fill the oceans and the, and the garbage fields can be recycled now because of Tupperware's technology. We're one of four companies that have put, developed this technology together. That's really cool. We're making a difference and we're proud to be part of Tupperware. Thank you for being with us tonight. And we're really glad that you were. Have a great night. Bye everybody.